We're starting day three of the Native American Cup, and we have here the tribal chairman of the host tribe, the Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians. And uh, Bob Kiwi Goscom, also known as Bob K. How's the tournament been for you so far? It's been great. You know, we have this, well, it's been nice as we get to showcase our golf courses, our three golf courses we have here, also showcase the resort and stuff. So a lot of these people, this first time here, some have been here lately, but a lot of them have not seen the changes we have made here at the resort, and I think that's that's the biggest part of this showcase, and hopefully they come back with their families later on and enjoy, enjoy some private time with their families. I noticed uh, quite a few people who have come from the southeast part of the U.S. Are, are, are saying they've never seen quite so much green before. So they were, they were pretty much uh, surprised by all that, and they certainly have enjoyed the golf courses. Um, how has your play been going so far? How, how, do, how did the different formats work for you? I think the different formats have worked great. You know, this is a different format from last year. Last year we had a whole totally different. This year, everybody gets to play all the golf courses. You know, the first day, first day we played the Spruce. So yesterday we played the Wolverine. And today we played the Bear. So that way, I think everybody had a chance. Last year, I played the Wolverine and the Spruce, but I never got the chance to play the Bear last year. So this year, Henry changed the format. And I think it worked out fantastic. I hear a lot of discussion of the alternate shot format. How did how did that work for you? First day we played. We were, we were tied and we going with half a point yesterday. We did pretty good in the first half, but the alternate shots, I think, we kind of fell apart yesterday, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we, so we lost, and I, I think out of our team, I think we're the only ones that lost, and then our team came through yesterday, kind of kind of left our spirits this morning, so hopefully looking for a great day. Well, your, um, your team came back uh, after the uh, Seneca tribe really took everything the first day. So uh, everybody was happy to see them get kind of skunked yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They put a lot of smiles on everybody's face. When you look on Saturday, you look out and say, oh, man, this isn't going to be good. You know, eight points. And you're know, looking for today. is said, to get eight more at 16, you know, so we're never going to catch them. But when I came in this morning and looked at the scores, I oh, said, fantastic. We've got a chance, you know, at least. So today is going to be an interesting story to see how everybody does. You know, it's, it's your South against the golf course today so and not only that people have really had a lot of chance to practice the last few days so they sh should all have their best shots right they should have their best <laughs> shots you know i don't practice them i'm one of these guys that get here slam the trunk and go out and uh, hire to hit a few balls but i think this morning when i hit a few balls yesterday i did that and i was pretty stiff on the first hole so i gotta loosen up a little bit this morning so <laughs> hopefully it'll work out <laughs> well good luck to you and congratulations on hosting just a fabulous event and we look forward to seeing more people here next year well, thank you for coming i enjoy our, enjoy the time here today we appreciate Appreciate what you're doing here and, and, and taking pictures and all that. Everybody, I think everybody's having a fantastic time. They sure are. Thank you. We have here on my right the director of the tournament, Henry Boulay, and on my left the only female professional golfer of the First Nation, Cheryl Mitchell, from Walpole Island, Canada. And you play golf in the U.S. at Oakland University and Kent State. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes, I was at Kent State for two and a half years and then transferred over to Oakland University for the remainder. Um, and I am currently, I live right by there in Pontiac, Michigan. And um, so I play at uh, Oakland University's Golf Center um, practically every day. So. And you're on the Futures Tour and you've qualified to play in uh, the LPGA event in London, Ontario pretty soon? Ah, uh, yes, it's actually um, in a couple of, day, couple of days, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, so this is a good tune-up for that, isn't it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Playing the guys, yeah. <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. Well, your teams are doing pretty well, it looks like, so far. Um, Henry, the whole tournament has uh, really been stepped up, uh, not just a notch, but several notches. And people are having a great time. Um, how did you determine the formats that you're using for this one? Um, we just went with the, uh, uh, just modified it off the, PGA's Ryder Cup event and um, you know we don't have that caliber of golfer throughout all the teams yet um, it's going to be a few more years while the the youth of, of Indian country start getting their games up to gear so it's it's a format that's fair for for the talent level right now and, and it's fun and enjoyable 
Yeah, we heard people talking about how the different types of formats have uh, affected their play, and uh, they've also talked quite a bit about the courses. Um, Cheryl, have you had a chance to play the bear before today? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I showed up earlier this week and played the bear a few times, a couple times, so um, yeah, definitely. It's, it's quite a challenge, so. What kind of shot making is it going to take for people to win today? Oh, you know, the bear will definitely separate a lot of people. It's, you know, I found the bunkers to be, um, you know, if you had a miss hit, those bunkers, you know, swallowed your ball up. <laughs> so uh, you're going to have to have some good shots out there, especially when there's a lot of water just before the greens. So I think, it, I think that key is go along today. So People have really enjoyed the courses and the formats, and uh, I've noticed that the caliber of play is up a great deal from last year. So with all those qualifying tournaments, I think you can expect even better play in the future, don't you think? Uh, we think so. The, it's the association teams that really have some, some firepower in them, and those are basically all-star teams. Um, Team Oklahoma, which is leading the association division now, held a one-day 36-hole qualifier. So, you know, they're just nothing but scratch all the way up to, you know, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten handicappers. So they're they're a pretty strong team. Team Michigan, the best native golfers in Michigan that aren't playing on tribal teams, you know, they're pretty strong. Uh, about the same thing. Eight, nine are their worst golfers and that's pretty that's pretty strong. The the caliber of uh, of golfers are, are only going to get better as as we go along. Yeah, I've noticed that too in the uh, um, the financial group, the team N A F O A, I think it is. Yeah. Have, have some good players, but the team that surprised everybody was the one from New York. But you're playing on the association, so you probably wouldn't have seen it. But have you talked to any of those guys? They've actually, yes, they've been behind me and uh, kind of edging me on each time, you know, trying to challenge me. So I'm like, <laughs> oh. I go, you're like, I don't play you guys. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun, you know, meeting a lot of new people. And, you know, it's just a great time out here.